right, listen, this is the the group meeting we've all been waiting for. We're actually going to get started shortly with Jada Pinkett Smith, waiting for everyone to join, specifically Jada Pinkett Smith and her team. So sit tight and stay tuned. So shout out to the people who are here on time. Um, so what's up? Hope y'all are doing and feeling successful. Um, it's a nice little intimate moment, right? With our favorite Red Table Talk hosts. Uh, so we're going to get started in just a few moments. Hey, hey. Hey, friend. Listen, come on, Fur. How y'all doing? I know I got I have this other, <laughs> I got this other thing I got to do today. <laughs> I love that. We know. I knew you would be fly. You know what I'm saying? But look, we're going to go ahead and get started. It doesn't matter how many people are here. I see the people coming in in the background with my emails. So for those of y'all who are here, we already know Jada Pinkett Smith. Child, we've been working together for six years now. I after, know. After I decided to start my own group and say, you know what? I just need to make an impact with my people in my city. And since then, from day one, she has been supporting me. So I appreciate you. And thank you for coming on to join us. Well, thank you. I appreciate just the um, sisterhood and, and us supporting each other that we've been able to just kind of share that over the years. So it's so nice to um, be here with all of you. The ladies here in front of me, they definitely supported your book tour from day one. As soon as I was oh, like, you know you. what? I was like, you know what? They they doing my girl dirty out here in these uh, streets. We support her and we are worthy and we're going to have a whole event. And we had an event, y'all. We had a time and we sent you a lot of gifts. Yes. Thank so, you so much. I so appreciate it. It was so yeah. nice to just receive all of that. Thank you. Yeah, I love that you got those and appreciated those. Um, shout out to Will, who's actually just joining. He let us use his space to have the event. Um, oh so shout out to the, the music shop. Um, I just want to kick this um, nice intimate interview off by saying you you did the first part of your book tour, right? And and it was successful. What's, what's next with the book? Is there a second leg? How do you feel um, about the first leg of it? And, and what did you learn? What did you gain? You know... It's really been beautiful, to be honest with you. You know, I knew it was going to be a really, really turbulent start, you know. Um, but as the smoke is settling, people willing to listen, people willing to hear, people mm -hmm. reading the book, actually. Right. Um, it's really been um, a lot of beautiful medicine for people, you know, which was my, that was really um my intention, you know, we as women are not always given um, the room to uh, live the stories we are actually living. You know, society wants us to um, live a certain narrative. You know, I'm sure that every last one of you on this call, even, even Will, who's on this call with us, you know, everybody is fighting stories you know, um, of family members, of friends, of coworkers, of, you know, so many different groups that we're a part of, you know, and it makes it really difficult to live in our truth, you mm -hmm. know, because once, once you are stepping outside of the role or the story that people want you to live in, it can be very upsetting. But that's where we have to have the courage to be able to be true to ourselves. Um, and so that's the whole purpose of writing the book and really understanding the true meaning of being worthy, worthy enough to have the courage to be true. It takes a lot of courage to do it, you know. Um, and so it's really been... It's really been a beautiful, beautiful journey. It has. It's been difficult, you know, but that's yeah. part of it, you know, but it's been beautiful. I love that. I love that. Um, On this call, we have a lot of emerging entrepreneurs, right? So shout out to everybody who's joined. Uh, Kula Von Seal, she, she sent you a whole lot of uh, granola in her package and her CD. Uh, Nicole, she also has, she's an author. She's a, uh, she sent you a book. Joy Donaldson, she sent you a book. Ashley Hawkins, she has uh, sea moss desserts that are amazing, by the way. Um, uh, the hot seat up there, Miss Miss Rook, she has a book as well. She sent you, uh, like I said, Will. He has a local like creative space. We are all emerging entrepreneurs, okay. Right. And I just feel like 
from someone who has been in the business, entertainment, all facets of just entrepreneurship um, and individuality, what what advice do you have for just emerging entrepreneurs? We have our good days, bad days, but yeah. how do we stay focused? What advice would you just want to share in general for us? Yeah, just know that um, just stay true to your passion and and just keep at it. I mean, I'll just use Red Table as an example. You know, we did Red Table when um, Willow, I think, was 12. That was the first Red Table that we did for Mother's Day. Yeah. And it didn't self-actualize. It didn't come in to be. It didn't turn into an actual show until seven years later. It took me um, some time, you know, to really sit with that project and find the right partnership. Mm. OK, before I was ready to move on it, it was a lot of people that wanted to move on it as soon as we did. It, but it wasn't the right partnership um, just because it's not happening as fast as you want. It's OK, you know, and just keep your eye open also as far as how you're building and partnerships that can help you um, attain your goal. Oh, perfect partnerships because that is my next question uh we decided to you decided to work with me I, I love it okay and it's all because you saw me doing out here in these streets right um so I feel like when it comes to collaborating I, of course I've had a lot of people like how how did you get Jada to just do a podcast with you like what what, what did that look like and I'm like it was not overnight that wasn't until right. year five of working with you so like when it comes to just wanting to collaborate, what do you look for when you're collaborating with others or, or choosing to, you know, let's let's start a project? What does that look like for you? Right. So it depends. How I collaborate with people creatively is one process. How I how I collaborate with people in regards to business is another process. When I create with people creatively, the only thing. I look for is passion and a skill set in a specific area. So let's say I'm writing a script, right? And I sit with a writer who is really passionate about the idea, but may not have the same level of skill as another writer that I might sit with that has higher level skill, but is not as passionate about the idea. I'm always, when it comes to art, I'm always going to go for the passion first. Always, because to me, passion is where the gems of, of artistry is born from. You can find all kinds of people with skill sets. I can get, I can get the core juice of that story and then find another writer that can structure it a certain way. Right. But when it comes to art, passion is my thing. Now, when it comes to business, right. <laughs> when it comes to business, I look for people who have skill sets that I don't. I need smarter people around me. Yeah. That know how to do things that I don't know how to do. So if, for instance, when I said I wanted to write this book, I was like, all right, I need a hardcore editor. So I tried to find an editor that was really skilled in what she does. And I needed somebody who wasn't afraid to tell me no. That part. And I had to trust that no. Right? Because I don't like surrounding myself around a bunch of yes people. I know that doesn't help. That's not going to get me where I need to go. So I'm looking for people who know more than me in areas that I'm weak in. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's what I look for. And I look for people who go, who are going to pull my coattails. That, well, yeah. You know, I was going to ask you about your team as well. I, you know, like I said, a lot of us on here are entrepreneurs. I love your team. They are executors. Okay. I think a lot of us, I don't know if it's just lack of trust. We just don't, we don't go for a team we, or, or when we're choosing to pick a team, we don't know what to look for. What do you look for when it comes to a team? Everybody wants to work with you, right? They just, they just do because of the name, because of the history, but it's ultimately your decision. So what are some skill sets or qualities that you look for when you're choosing that team or, or, and even how do you know when it's time to grow the team? Uh, and, and so 
you know, there, there's a lot, there's a lot in that particular, in those questions, right? So let me just start with knowing how to choose your team members. For what I do, it can be really complex because my team members usually have to do a lot of different things well, right? Because of, I move in so many different worlds, depending on what position is needed. I'm looking for a specific quality. So the person who's at my hip, who's my chief of staff, which has to be as fluid as I am. And that's hard. So that means the first thing I'm looking for is, are you willing to learn new things mm -hmm. at all times? I'm always moving in different, like I, I, one minute we're doing a TV show, the next minute we're doing a movie, the next minute we're, you know, on a book tour. <laughs> she has to, not only do you have to be willing to always be open to learning new skill sets, right? Uh -huh. You have to do it with a smile because as you're learning new skill sets, you're going to be interacting with a lot of different people from a lot of different worlds. Absolutely. So Goodness. gotta be that's, a, that's you so for that particular job. And so now I have to have the patience that I understand that this this person and I are also going to constantly be learning each other on a constant and diff because we we are constantly moving with each other in all, in all these different scenarios. But just in regards to standard business structure, I'm always looking for people in their verticals that um, are that they they have good team leadership and are always willing to build on their skill set. So let's say if I need an accountant, right? It's like, I want to make sure that you can do accounting very well, right? And that whatever accounting team that you're putting together, that you are a good team leader. Because a lot of times I'm looking for team leaders in different verticals. There are going to be people that they're leading in their vertical. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, and sometimes, sometimes the team leadership is is not always in, and that person can be really skilled at maybe producing, but they don't really know how to lead the team of producers, like an executive producer. Mm -hmm. And I find that 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 causes me more problems than having someone who might not be as skilled as a team leader, very, I mean, as a, as an executive producer, willing to learn, but has impeccable team leadership. Okay. So then I, as that person's supervisor, will figure out how to get them the, the um, qualities that are needed, you know, for whether they need a mentor or whether they need to, you know, be given classes in a certain area, right? Um, and so having a person that's willing to go, okay, I understand that I don't necessarily have the skill set here, so I'm willing to learn. And then I'm like, okay, I'm willing to provide you that that education. Mm -hmm. You know, so it really depends. You really have to know first and foremost as as a a, a business leader and a, a business builder, what, what you are trying to offer to the world and to yourself. Mm. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I hope y'all, I hope y'all taking notes. Or I'm taking a few. Listen, some of these things we've heard before, but it's also like, I need to just, I just need a little confirmation. So I appreciate you for that. You. Uh, we do have a few questions in text chat. I know some people did not send them in advance. So one, which is dope. Shout out to Kula. Uh, how do you marry the passionate person with the business savvy person? And I love this question. Or do you keep them separate? Because I, I tend to start thinking with my heart. So I can understand that question. Yeah. Sometimes um, you have to know and it's really, uh, it's a hard one because there are times that you just got to get really uh, practical. Understood. So when the numbers don't add up, 
it's, you, you got to make it make sense. Right. So then we have to look at some of our practices. We got to look at, OK, you know, who are some of the team members who may not be delivering the deliverables necessary mm. for the numbers to make sense? To let you go. <laughs> we got to let you go. And it's not even personal. Right. And it might be somebody you just freaking love. I mean, I, I went through a very difficult process of that in the last few months, you know, of having to let quite a few people go who just, the numbers weren't making sense. More, especially if like they were a part of a thing and you yeah, like, you know, and, 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 you know, how we can compensate that is like, you know, how can I help you get into another job, another area that better suits you? I'm here to help you do that. Do I need to make a phone call? Do I need to write a letter? For those right. who you think are really... Um, like worth it, right? Worth it, yeah. But that's when you have to make that separation between when the passion isn't isn't um, making the dollar and cents that you need. <laughs> oh. the passion knows, like, I love you and I'm passionate about you as a person and I love how far we've come, you know, but... The math ain't math, friend. That's math it. Math That's it. All right, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get ready to let you go. Will wants to say he has loved you since Low Down Dirty Shame. It's one of his favorite movies and Gam feels the same way. I asked you that question once. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, Will, for saying that. Thank you, um, Will. Thank you. I'm gonna. Go I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, and Joy says, "Hello, my fellow September Virgo." Her question is, "How do you know when a project is right for you?" That's my last question. Let's just stop there. I'm sure you get a lot of opportunities, right? How are you yeah, writing? a project. I know when it's when it when my spirit just lights up, and I feel like it's a project that communicates something that um you know is my expression of how i want to be in the world or how i want to see the world you know or that i've experienced in the world you know and it it just it it ignites my my heart the passion in my soul and i i unfortunately i you know it doesn't come around doesn't come around a lot, come around a lot. but i definitely there's some there's a project that I'm working on now that I'm I'm really excited about can't talk about it quite yet but um and I haven't felt this way in a long time so I'm excited okay good well good I'm excited for you for that yeah. listen I just want to say thank you again for just joining popping on here to say VA people I see you thank I you see y'all <laughs> thank you for all the love thank you for just and all everything you sent me, just thank you. And and I I, I really want to just um encourage you to keep doing what you're doing. You know, it's not always easy. It's not meant to be. And just know, you know, one of the things that I've learned is like adversity and obstacles are only there to help us see where we need to strengthen. That's it. They're not here to um tell us that we're not supposed to be doing what we're doing necessarily. It's just going, hey. We got to we got to level up, you know, and we got to be grateful for when the universe is showing us where we need to level up and where we need to get stronger. So kudos to all of you doing what you're doing. Keep doing it. Thank you. We appreciate you for joining us. It was appreciated for sure. It's so nice being with you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.